Last night was the night many people for the first time witnessed the sun's fury in an amazing light show. A solar storm sent northern lights to New England, New York, and even Michigan. The news media call this a minor geomagnetic storm. Have you ever wondered if this event is only a minor geomagnetic storm? What will a major geomagnetic storm do to us? Based on my web search, this one is only a two on a scale of five. And the last major one happened in 1921. In May of 1921, auroras could be seen for several evenings over Europe and the Eastern United States. At that time, a giant sunspot, about 94,000 by 21,000 miles, was estimated to be the result of that mega solar storm. At that time, a massive blackout was reported in the East Coast. While the signal and switching system for the New York Central Railroad was completely shut down, fire broke out when electrical grids failed while some switchboards burst into flames. Definitely not a pretty picture. But that was 1921. Can you imagine what would happen if we have a solar storm like that today? Let me ask you not what will fail, but what will not fail when the solar storm hits. Honestly, I can't even think of anything that does not rely on electricity today. For example, you won't be able to withdraw cash nor use your credit card. So how can you buy food and water? Let's say you are smart enough to stash cash. Do you think the grocery store will open just for you? So will there be another solar storm? Of course. According to News Target, a NASA scientist said it, it is inevitable. And what will happen? That article said 280 million Americans will die when that happens. So what should we do? For one thing, you don't need to believe NASA. Let's see what Homeland Security says. According to Peter Vincent Pry, Executive Director of the Task Force on National and Homeland Security, if the U.S. power grid were to go offline, approximately 90% of the population would die. Before I go any further, I can already imagine the stones being aimed at me right now for being a fearmonger. How dare anyone doubt our government's ability to deal with a crisis like this, right? Well, my web search showed that we may only have a 24 hour notice before the solar storm traveling at the speed of light hits us. Hard to imagine, right? But what did we learn about the solar storm two days before the last one hit? It's less warning than we got when Katrina hit New Orleans. So what should we do? Well, we can try to depend less on electricity, but we all know that is impossible. On March 10, 1989, the sun exploded with a powerful solar storm. A billion ton cloud of gas was released within minutes and the storm traveled at a million miles an hour and jammed radio signals. During that time, northern lights that could be seen as far south as Cuba caused a magnetic disturbance which created electrical currents in the ground beneath much of North America. And when the currents found a weak spot in the power grid of Quebec, it blacked out all of Quebec. I know it sounds crazy, but we actually had a first-hand experience of what life was like at a time like that. Two things happened last night. Just when I was researching about the solar storm, my YouTube channel was suddenly down. My subscribers went from 10,000 to zero. And the outage lasted about 20 minutes. I don't know if this was pure coincidence or it was some outage affected by the solar storm. At the same exact time, the power in my house went off. Twice but only for a very short time. I thought if this is not related to the solar storm, it can't be viewed as a signal for me to work on this video. Actually, I confirmed this outage on Southern California Edison's website. 
1,294 homes in my city were affected. Although they call that a routine outage due to extreme heat. Right. Don't you think we should be given more notice than 24 hours? At least we can stock up on water and food. What would you say if I tell you that I think we were warned three months ago? On April 12, 2017, this crop circle appeared in Rukven, Nord Brabant, Netherlands. It was not reported until late April and was decoded by us on our video named The Warning You Must Know, April 26, 2017 Crop Circle. Starting at the mark from 155 to 230, I thought the bulging on the sun looked like a big solar explosion. Of course, the last explosion brought us a beautiful light show and did little damage. But is that the explosion depicted in the crop circle? From the map, a bigger solar storm may happen when the planets are aligned like this. And I hate to tell you this, but we will be stuck at this alignment for the next three weeks. So what can we do? We can stock up on food, water, medicine and gas with some cash, but other than that, there's nothing much we can do. Maybe we will be sheltered this time and survive under divine protection. However, we should prepare for the worst and hope for the best. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.